interesting this bag from Hobonichi has no marking whatsoever I saw the Hobonichi 2021 sometimes I saw Hobonichi only and sometimes you see the monkey logo so I'm quite curious about how the difference um, markings on this white um, paper bag here which is it's literally a paper bag and all you need to do is to unfasten the, the glue here and it's it's literally a big um, white bag here so no marking whatsoever interesting of an election week here. So, so. Let's do it this way. The last time I do it that way, I knocked the camera down. So a lot of, um, of their stuff is launched on the 1st of October. And then I think after this is their spring um, edition uh, to go to coincide with the Japanese um, academic year, which starts in the spring, Northern Hemisphere, Northern Hemisphere spring, which is April. And I think those, I have no idea, those start in January or February, I think. This is just the plain A5 notebook with the grids. I don't think they have plain paper, do they? I don't know. This is their large um, drawer pouch. They call it drawer pouch. Uh, A5. I think it fits the A5. Some little bits and bobs. These, I think this is the small drawer pouch. The A6 I wasn't sure about, but decided that I like. Cover. Kadan. I think kadan means bits of flour or something. And this is really the one I was waiting for. And it wasn't... Um, it was only launched in the 1st of October, I believe 11am Japan time, which is about sometime in the afternoon that day in New Zealand. calling this Adam Boy. It's Astro Boy. I don't know where I get Adam Boy from. I can't get over the smell of plastic. Wow, this is very plasticky. I kind of saw that this was glossy plastic here. It was quite obvious from uh, the the pictures on the website but I didn't think this was going to be this um, glossy and if you can see that the printing is on top of this glossy plastic it means that that's gonna scuff eventually so this means I'm gonna have to put a cover on cover on this and because this is so plasticky in this instance, I will not have any issue putting a cover on cover on because it's just so plasticky. Something in there. Right, this. I am 50, you guys, and this is just me <laughs> trying to. It just goes back to my 1970s childhood where plastic toys made in Japan.
pan was everything. It was everything. Um, so that's um, the glossy, where are we? Glossy plastic there. Same as this one here. Um, this is the same as a lot of their, what I call this parachute umbrella tent windbreaker rain jacket material here but this actually surprised me how how but it is in keeping with the spirit of the era this type of i mean the smell uh, do you remember those blow up plastic toys um i think a lot of them are made in china now but back in the day Japan was just one generation uh, from World War II where they were completely destroyed and they were just beginning to make their mark in the world and these uh, blow up plastic floaters for when you go to your local swimming pool and all the rest of it this very much reminds me of that and the smell oh it's a lot of plastic I think I've mentioned that once before I think I'm going to continue to say that every time I open stuff from Obonichi. This is my only second, um, only my second year purchasing from Obonichi and I honestly don't know how long, how much longer. Uh, we'll see. Um, my first love's always been leather, so I do apologize to my vegan and vegetarian friends, but... I'm purposely not toning down the crinkly noises because I know some of you actually like them. So this is the sort of um, cover that I would would really hesitate to put cover and cover on and because this is on the darker side I think I might be able to afford to risk this. and. Um, if you remember, there's a grayish taupe handbag um, that used to sit here. I was where I was carrying it at the time, and for some reason, I thought this would look so nice with that bag. And yeah, it's decorative. I've mentioned many times before that Hobonichi covers. I think to a lot of people, I know for me personally, it's largely decorative. Um, and uh, one of the functions that I like about them is that although I find this initially quite awkward looking, um, but this function of how you put these two pins or one pin in and locking the cover, that that is a really good function. Because uh, I do have a problem with wallets and organizers without notebooks and all that flapping open in the bag and having everything come out. I've lost um, misplaced cards, cash, and all sorts of things, coins, keys, because my current wallet, which I organize everything in, flap open all the time, and then everything slides out. So, so yeah, so that was something I eyed, but I wasn't really sure about, and then it kind of grew on me. So when um, I was waiting for this, which became available on the 1st of October, I decided to pick that one as well. Okay. So let me put this here. All right. Um, these are some of the accessories that I thought I bought, uh, but I never did. And there's a few accessories in the past where I thought I need and I never did. So a lot of this is still me. Um, sorry, my my lens used to be over there. A lot of this is really, I'm still feeling my way around what I need. So that's um, for the cousin size. Now this one here I almost bought last year and I decided against it. I can't remember why. But what happened was I looked through my last year's planner and there is the, the day there where I signed my marriage registration and it was unceremoniously it was a little scribble on a page and it was such a it was it was a is a big date in my husband's and in my life but 
it was so if we're not careful it become quite a non-event it can become quite a non-event because we were rushing i was in the middle of rushing my mother to singapore um this is just before all the lockdowns happened this is just before covid i went out of control that was in november and we got married at the end of october and so i had this idea of going back through the year and just a lot of people decorate their planners or their journals i don't do that but i would like to do something to mark important dates such as my marriage registration um we didn't have a big wedding we were going to have it this year as a part of our first anniversary but of course covid happened and no one can travel a lot of my friends whose family and friends are all over the world have to have a really small wedding in a way that you heard a lot happened uh, during the war um you know um, just a small occasion because if you wait for all of your family and friends to be able to fly in for your important date you it, you'll end up postponing everything and perpetuating so when i saw this i thought you could uh, the least i could do is put a ring around put a ring literally um around the date and so i had this idea of going back through my journals uh, through my planners even not journals but planners and just simp simply mark as a way of uh, reflecting uh, the last year um the past year of life before this strange time that we found ourselves in in 2020 and simply mark them and so i'm going to put circles around them at the moment i simply put highlights around them and it's really messy it's really really basic and i just felt like i owe that page that day something more even if it's retrospectively using as simple as something like this so. and so i thought you know why not why not take pick this one up as well which is something i had considered in the past and decided not to get and of course, I, I ended up, because I couldn't negotiate and navigate my way around their Hobonichi um, system, I ended up shipping $20 worth of knickknacks like this um, and paid $35 for the shipping. And so if I had known, I would have, you know, not skimp on getting all these accessories because I was paying what was 50 New Zealand dollars at the time for items that's probably costing only half of that so but anyway I've um, moaned about that enough last year um, and so these are this is um, double sticky tape sorry I keep going this way because um, I flipped my tablet around and this is uh, cards I'm just gonna put um, business cards and Um, yeah, I've found that um, as I travel and as I, I don't know when I'm going to be traveling again, but there's all these little cards that you can pick up and keep as mementos, um, which um, I put in my traveler's notebook. And I thought, why not for the Hobonichi as well? So that's just cards. I currently have what a photo album, so the pocket is not like this, but the pocket is... Um, let me show you. So right now it's like so. Whoops. It's very difficult for me to show you anything because uh, my planner and my journals are filled with personal private information. It's just always tricky to demonstrate to you. So yeah, so this is just a whole pocket as you can see here. I have stuff in there. So, um, yeah, so let's have a look at these draw drawer, what they call drawer pouches. I guess the idea is um, okay, hold on a second. All right. So you have your force to cut this, I suppose. Um, the idea is to carry your drawer with you, is the idea. I never look at them in the past. And then I saw um, 
so that's leather probably not the best leather but it's leather I saw somebody's this pouch here this big one but in this one here and I remember last year when I saw the cover for this one here my manga um, this reminds me of a friend who has this backpack this very typical Japanese high school backpack to the envy of our classmates um, it's a very distinct looking backpack and um, the design is a bit cut here um, the other option is to have one that is this big but for whatever reason um, the design sitting this way for me was a bit I don't know it just feels like there's a lot of empty spaces on the left and right and this particular Mina Perhon and fabric was something that I go on and off you know in and out sort of about getting the cover last year and I decided that I it's, it's not um, it's not the one that I like the most so it has to it has to I had to drop it and so this is an excuse I suppose to obtain this fabric um, and let's face it as I've mentioned before with a lot of Hobonichi cover especially the textile ones we are it's a bit like collecting it's a bit like collecting fabrics so here though you could see the the what do you call it uh, the patterns aren't as matched as the cover the Hobonichi covers have a lot of pattern matching for example we see here um, as it goes into there is a pocket here there and you could see that it's really the patterns are matched really well uh, here it, it doesn't so let's open this so we can get rid of the crinkly noise uh, could never quite decide whether to leave the crinkly noise or not because some of you really hate it some of you really like it I apologize for the amount of plastic here just so much plastic I'm so sorry a bit disappointing. I think that's felt. That's interesting. Because a lot of Mina Perhonen's um, trimmings are often made of real leather. So, and then you have this little Mina Perhonen's logo there. The bow tie or butterfly, one of them. Um, I do not believe this is leather. I do believe this is felt. Okay, if you have any of these ones, um, especially the A5 and uh, A6 zipper organizer or zipper cover, I think those are real leather. I think. I, I could be wrong. Um, yeah, that's disappointing. It's I don't think that's brass. I think that's just yellow tinted aluminium or something. Um, so you have the paddings there and some of the dry stuff there. So you take that out if you like um, it's very look at that it's very precisely constructed that is so good so that it remains flat instead of bulgy it's the little details like this that really make me quite um, quite impressed with a lot of um, Japanese Japanese products or Japanese made or Japanese design and constructed products um, you could put something like put it in there. I was hoping to be able to put in a tablet or something in there, so you put that, so that's pretty good. Um, I have zipper cover coming out of my ears now, so that's not true. I only have two 
I have a third one coming from Galen Leather, which I suspect I'll probably be a lot happier with. But it's different. It's just different, isn't it? It's just not... You can't really compare. I mean, it's it's just different. And I am quite disappointed that those aren't leather, especially with this kind of... Um, this would lend itself, this kind of color would really lend itself well to natural undyed leather, which would patina over time. So um, like this, no, not like this, but um, that's not undyed. I think that's actually dyed this color, cream color. And so I don't know if this will patina. I think this is leather, but it's not single grain. I think this is top grain, it's thin. Um, anyway, anyway, um, probably have to. This is another padding there. Mm, so you can use this as either stationary or you can use this as your. Where are we? Here we are. I can uh, use this as toiletries, a toothbrush, cable, your ports, your charger. Um, again, my mind is still. Um, my mind is still thinking travel and international travel is quite different you know at 10 hours just the flight 16 hours at least door to door oh, 20 20 hours we're, we're, we're thinking long hauls and so it's a very different kind of travel where you can just throw everything in the car um, and they remain seated in the car in that position until you alight on the other side with luggages it gets thrown around a lot so we'll put in some stuff there right so okay so there's all this At the moment, this is how I store them, like a plastic bag. And it's getting a bit tired looking. I use these to um, color the edges of some cards in the past, which I'm no longer no longer have the mental space to do. So I'm going to use that for something else. Um, actually, you know what? I don't need this, not at the moment. What I need are these. So I've been just carrying this in and out of the drawer. It is driving my husband crazy because every time everything is played. put nice and tidy, I come in there, get things out, get back in, in and out, and in and out, and in and out. And it's quite hard to um, keep tidy when you're constantly in and out. Um, but these are, obviously that's not enough. For, well, okay, well, we'll think about that later. Do I really do use these? No, I don't. Do I really use those? When I'm taking notes and planning, not really. These ones. Well, obviously I have a lot more. A lot more pens than I realized because that's yeah we'll, we'll have to do this later I think at the moment we'll just have to do that it's not gonna work as much as I thought it was gonna work it looks like I need a much much bigger um, so I think this is going to be Yep, I don't know what this is going to be. Um, maybe cables, maybe something. And I realized I was going to lose a bit of that, but for some reason it's only just now I realize that the whole bag is gone. But, you know, I found this. I prefer, as I've mentioned, I prefer a lot of pictures in the frame. And so that's sitting on a... On a horizontal um, frame like that was not I don't know so anyway so 
we'll see. So maybe next year I'll let you know how how I ended up using this. Mm. Otherwise, I will probably move this on and sell them on whatever doesn't work for me on Instagram. Uh, please check out the link down below. It used to be called My Hobo for Sale. It is now To Mice Bookshelf. So on Instagram, at To Mice Bookshelf, especially if you're in New Zealand. Um, the shipping is terrible at the moment internationally. Yep. So that's probably more. Yeah. I'm not a crafty, crafty person. There isn't a time where I have to carry around my whole set of this. Uh, you know, I'll probably sit at home and do it. I probably am not likely to do it on the run or on the go. So this is me trying new things and that zipper is a little bit, I'm a bit worried about that. Mm, okay, it's a bit snaggy, it's a bit toothy, so I'm not sure about that. It is definitely, this is definitely a purchase for the Mina Perhone, and I wish this just, um, I wish this is pattern match, to be honest, and I don't know why they didn't do, unless, um, Whoever get the subcontracting to make these pouches aren't the same people who are making their covers. So that could be the case. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. I think the superior labor have really, really spoiled me now. I can really tell the difference. It's very, the zipper is very toothy. So. Well, stay tuned. Um, see, um, oh, I want to show you what I didn't use last year that I finally used this year. Is this weekly? Is this weekly? Which I bought for my A5, A6. But because I started using the A6 as a journal, the weekly planning just was wasted until. September, where I finally use it to uh, track my cat's weight because she's having a bit of a um, she has a bit of a weight problem, and there's a tooth that needs to be extracted, and for that she needs to be put under general anesthesia, and for that she has to lose weight. I'm very very nervous about her being placed under GA very very nervous about that so um, I've grown very attached to her and I will talk about my cat journal <laughs> my cat journal on uh, my next um, stationary Saturday video so I'll talk to you then <laughs>